you probably know who I am. Tyler Spongetip, of course. And this is part three of the Emily Awards, the much anticipated lips category. And apparently this year, the official trainer of the Emily Awards took things to a whole new level, testing the products on herself. How about that? Now, let's send it over to Emily in Beauty Broadcast Headquarters. Well, thank you so much, Tyler, and thank you everybody for watching the Emily Awards. Thank you so much for the wonderful response to these videos. We look forward to doing them every year, and I personally always really look forward to the lips part because I just am so attracted to lip products. You guys know I just love trying new glosses, new lipsticks, and interestingly enough, um, I've tried a lot of new lip products this year, but you're going to notice the first part of this video, I've got a lot of repeat winners, and then things kind of come apart toward the end, and there's tons of new. Lots and lots to talk about, so let's jump right in. Um, first off, best high-end lip balm, and I do have a winner for this this year, and it's the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. I have one of these minis, and I've actually gone through like a whole one in the past year and I'm on a new one. I've gotten these sometimes as like a little perk or something from Sephora, but these are really fantastic quality lip balms. If you have a chance to try one, I know they're kind of pricey to buy like a full size on its own, but it's got like the slightest little lemony scent, but the texture is a little bit thicker than a lot of like chapsticks that are out there. My sister loves these too. In fact, I got her um, one of the tinted ones for Christmas in Berry, and she really likes that. So there's a lot to choose from if you like the tints, but just the classic one um, has an SPF 15 and it's really nice. For Drugstore, this is another two-time winner, but it didn't win just last year. It was something I kind of got on a kick with before, and I've come back to it. And it's the Nivea Kiss of Smooth. Smoothness. I actually like this one and also the Kiss of Honey, I think it's called, the one with the yellow tube. These are just great workhorse type lip products, great for those super dry chapped lips. Um, it's kind of a no frills sort of lip product, but it goes on really smooth. It's a slightly thicker texture when you put it on your lips and therefore you feel like you've got, you know, that moisture barrier there. You've got a little extra hydration. For tinted lip balm, I have two drugstore favorites actually. Um, both are something new. First off, the NYX Butter Lip Balms. I really, really like these. These have totally grown on me. I started with just a couple, and now my collection of these has expanded quite a bit, but these are a really nice lip balm. I've got a full review on them. They're tinted. Um, they're not super shiny, but I feel like whenever I put them on, my lips look full. It's different, you know? It's different from a lot of the tinted lip balms out there. Slightly thicker in texture than um, the Maybelline Baby Lips, which I really like those two. It was kind of hard to pick, but um, a few great shades. I love the pink and Lady Fingers. Brownie is a really nice neutral. And if you want a little pop of red, if you're just dipping your toe into red lip colors, um, Red Velvet is a really good option. It's time for a game break. And this year, NYX has come up with possibly the greatest beauty innovation of all time. A butter lip balm. It's portable, goes on smooth, and is lip smacking good. Why didn't I think of that? Emily? Another great little find that I ran into this year, super affordable, are the e.l.f. Lip Balm Tints. And these are in little pots, and I have them in Nude and Berry, and these show up with such pretty color on your lips. It's a lot more color than you would expect from a lip balm like this, especially with the Nude. You'd think that would be sh super sheer, but really it comes off with nice color. They've got a lightly sweet flavor to them and a lot of great shine. Favorite lip liner, high end. I've got a repeat favorite in this category and it's the Too Faced Perfect Lips. I love that these are retractable lip liners that go on so, so creamy smooth. Like seriously, one of the easiest lip liners for filling in your entire lip if you want to. They've got some great shades. One that I tend to reach for a lot if I'm doing anywhere from a nude to a mid-tone neutral lip is this one in Perfect Spice. It just gives the right amount of like subtle contrast that I like to have maybe on the outer parts of the lips when I'm using a lighter shade. Favorite drugstore lip liner, NYX All the way. Loving these retractable lip liners this year. I got like a whole set of them on Hot Look and I just love these bad boys. Creamy, they twist up, full color, 
so long wearing. If you really want to take your lipstick and pump up the staying power, find a coordinating shade in one of these and use that as your base, and it's so long lasting. NYX has such a nice color range, you probably know that, but this one in red I would say is an essential one for your collection because you always want that nice clean border for a red lip, and this really gives you that. Right. Jumbo lip pencils. You would not believe how many of these I've tried over the year. Actually, you probably would. Um, you know that brands have come out with these left and right, and for high end. Um, I've got a returning favorite here, and I think it's very well deserved because I've only discovered more and more that I like from this line over the past year, and it's the Tarte Lip Surgeons. Um, the one I'm holding here is in Fever. It's one of the luster finishes, so it's like a red with a little bit of shimmer. But I've really enjoyed experimenting with some of the different finishes from Tarte. They've got great matte ones. If you're looking for something a little bit different, um, a matte that still feels very soft and um, comfortable on your lips, that would be something to try, but the tints are nice, the lusters. I love how these go on very lip balmy, but still really full color. Now, do you remember last year at this time when I was talking about the sweatpants of lip products, the most comfortable thing to wear, the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks? Well, I've tried a lot, a lot of drugstore jumbo lip pencils since that time, and guess what still comes out on top? <laughs> yep, I love these from Neutrogena. I think they are just the bomb. I love these so much. I love the feel on my lips. Um, these have been North Dakota winter weather tested and I had no chapped lips. I mean, they're a workhorse. They are a workhorse lip product. They're not just on your lips to look pretty, although they do, but I think they totally create that great barrier that you want between your lips and the dry air. I own pretty much every shade they have and I even wish they'd come out with more, but a couple that I just pulled out to show you, Fresh Papaya, really nice kind of springy summery shade, and then Rich Raisin, um, a nice slightly deep red that I think is very wearable. For favorite lip plumpers, um, one clear winner for me, and it's the Buxom Lip Plumper. I love all the different shades. I've continued to try more shades in these and love them. Um, the one I have here is called April. It's a really pretty light pink. It's got a little bit of shimmer. These don't really claim to be a super long wearing lip gloss, but they do hang around on your lips quite a while because they're a little bit thick. They're sticky and Enough to have some decent staying power, but not so sticky that they're super annoying. At least I don't find them that way. There's a little bit of tingle, but not the painful tingle that a lot of lip plumpers have. So these are just a favorite and continue to be this year. For favorite lip stain, I have tried a lot of different um, drugstore products that have had stain in the name this year, but nothing has really um, ultimately appealed to me even as close to as much as the one that is my favorite, and it's the It Cosmetics Vitality lip flush. It's hard to find something that's going to give you as much color as these do, but it's still so hydrating. So um, so many great oils and ingredients in these. When you put them on your lips, you, they feel so supple, smooth, fresh, a little bit shiny, but yet you're getting really nice staying power out of these. Um, I've had my mom test out different shades, and she hasn't noticed any feathering outside the lip line, which is something she's always on the lookout for. Um, this shade is Je ne sais quoi. It looks clear, but this is one of those that turns kind of a um, magenta pink on your lips. So I really like this shade, but there are plenty of nice other ones to choose from. Did you know when you're going out shopping, you don't have to memorize all of the Emily Awards winners? There's a blog called beautybroadcast.net that lets you scan through a list of all the products mentioned. Looks like there are links to shop online and even links to previous reviews for more information. Someone went to a lot of work, and it wasn't me. Emily? Okay, drum roll please. Best lipstick, high end, brand new winner this year. Couldn't be more excited about it. It's Bite Beauty all the way. Love these lipsticks. If you're a regular reader of my blog, um, you're probably not surprised by this. I've gotten a couple of different sets that I've shown like all the colors on my lips and I'm just so, so thrilled with how beautifully they apply. Okay, there's great ingredients in there, like food grade stuff that it's okay to eat if you wanted to, which I'm not gonna do that. A great color selection. If you're one of those girls who doesn't like to mess around with anything remotely sheer, you will like these lipsticks. Totally like hydrating feel. I love when I press my lips together when I'm wearing these and I almost feel like 
Yep, there's still moisture in Something there. Something else I like about Bite is the way they do their sets. I've got a couple of minis, and earlier in the fall I got this set of the double-ended ones, and I like that they include colors that are part of their regular line. So if you fall in love with one of these shades, there is a full size available for you. Love this mulberry shade. You might be hearing about this in just a few minutes again, but that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, this pink called Palomino just get out of town. That is so pretty. And in this past year, I have tried like some really luxury brand lipsticks, some very expensive lipsticks, but these definitely stand out to me as the best from high end. If you're wanting to put a little more money into a lip product, I really think you should look into this brand. Watch out, I got a new favorite from Drugstore too. It's the Milani Color Statement Lipsticks. I loved throughout the earlier part of this past year testing out every shade they have to offer. Like I am so educated on this line of lipsticks. It's great. I've tried their neutrals, their pinks, their orangey shades, their browns, like everything. Such an impressive color range. Um, finishes of all kinds. Metallic, shimmer, cream, matte. And again, really full color. Nothing sheer about them. Um, one of the shades that's really been a favorite of mine, this one called Uptown Mauve. Just a gorgeous berry type shade with a little bit of purple. Um, fruit Punch, a gorgeous classic pink. I've got some really pretty nudes and neutrals as well that I feel I can wear like on their own without um, doctoring them up with any gloss or lip liner, which is kind of a big thing for me. So I love those Milani lipsticks. For high-end lip gloss, this is actually a first-time winner. Kind of surprising because they've always been something I've used a lot and have been on my radar for a long time, but it's the Mali High Shine Liquid Lip Colors. I call these a gloss because they do all have that really shiny, glossy finish, but they're all very full color like a lipstick. Um, I really like the applicator they twist up and then they go through this brush so you can get a really precise application, which is nice for some of these deeper shades. This is a more recent one that I got called Marvelous. And um, there's some reds that I just think that applicator is really helpful with. If you're just starting out, you want a really great works for everyone kind of shade, I would get Blossom. It's kind of a pearly, slightly metallic mid-tone shade. There's a little bit of pink in it, a little bit of gold. These have really good staying power despite not being sticky at all. So Love them. From the drugstore, a returning favorite and a new favorite. Um, an old favorite that I've loved for a long, long time are the NYX Mega Shine Lip Glosses. Um, NYX always does it right with shade range. I feel like there's always a ton to choose from. So even if you've tried a lot, there's probably still more out there for you to use. And I love that pretty much every shade that you try seems to go on and give you the color you would expect to see on the outside of the tube. You know, um, this shade called Cosmo, so stunning. It's a little bit like Revlon's Rose Pearl, maybe even slightly more shiny um, and metallic, but I think it's just so, so pretty. Really brightens up your face. And a new winner for drugstore lip gloss also, kind of a tie going on here, um, the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Gloss. These are not the little short, squatty color elixirs, but the actual um, Color Sensational Lip Glosses. I don't hear tons of people talking about these, but I think they are phenomenal. A very comfortable formula, really opaque colors in this line that really show up bold and beautiful the bold and the beautiful <laughs> on your lips. And um, I also really like this shade. It's kind of an all-purpose gloss. It's an almond crush. This is really great for giving like a slightly pearly shine to any lip color you've got on, or just apply it to the center of your lower lip. It looks really pretty that now way. Now we're going into some specific shade favorites. If you're new to the Emily Awards, um, for my lips, I like to break it down into a few different shade categories. So you can really get some good recommendations for like pinks, berries, nudes, whatever. First off, favorite pink lipstick. I so, so love the Milani Lipstick and Fruit Punch. This is such a beautiful true pink. It's bold. It's not sheer in the least. It's a straight up creamy shade. It feels nice on the lips. My favorite pink lip gloss. And this is the only one from here on out that has been a repeat winner in these specific shade categories. But favorite pink gloss is the NYX Mega Shine in Beige. I've complained for a while that this beautiful pink is named Beige, but it's so, so pretty. It's a creamy pink. It's a very, very classic pink color. Um, all 
all in all on the lips this is going to look a little less bright than this Milani lipstick so if you're wanting just that really nice wearable pink shade I think this would be a good one to test out. For favorite berry lipstick I'm wearing it right now it's the Bite Beauty lipstick in Mulberry. Probably one of my favorite Bite lipsticks of everything I've tried. I think it's just the gorgeous deep vampy kind of berry color but it feels so nourishing on the lips. It's not giving you tons of shine, just a, a teeny bit of shine on there. But I like that it's not too much because I feel like it's in control, you know? I feel like it's not about to slip off my lips. It's just a beautiful color. I love it so much. Tyler Sponge Tip here. I'm told Bite Beauty Lipstick contains an antioxidant found in wine. Well, folks, I'm inspired. Instead of Bite Beauty, I'm creating a product called Drink Beauty. An even faster, more effective way of getting all the antioxidants in wine. Emily? And for favorite berry lip gloss, I went the slightly purple route, a little bit of, you know, Radiant Orchid. That is the Pantone color of the year. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on this gloss. I really like the way it feels and I love the color. And it's the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Fuchsia Finery. It's almost a little bit gel-like on the lips, but it still gives off a nice amount of color. If you want to try that pretty orchid lip trend that everybody's doing, um, this would be a good way to do it because the color is going to show up just a little more sheer than what you see here in this tube, but still really, really beautiful. Your favorite red lipstick. This is big, you guys. Um, a certain product has been on a four-year reign in this category, and it's the NYC Ultra Moist Lipwear in Sheer Red. I really like that lipstick, but this year it has been knocked off by something that I think is just my ultimate red lipstick and it's the NYX matte lipstick in Alabama. This is my kind of red. I love how it is a hair deeper than, uh, maybe a few hairs deeper actually, than like a total bright cherry red, but I think that makes it so wearable. It really stays in place. It's absolutely full color. Any of these NYX matte lipsticks that you try, you're going to be like, wow, you know, that's color, intensity. I think part of it is that there's no shine bouncing off of it, so it just seems even more intense. I've got a favorite red gloss. It's very pretty. It's from It Cosmetics, and it's the Vitality Butter Gloss in Ruby Slippers. I love a red lip gloss that incorporates a little bit of sparkle. I mean, we're talking a little different look, right, from that totally matte lip, but this is something that's going to absolutely glisten on your lips. It's got a very, very fine shimmer, but it's just a beautiful red shade. You cannot go wrong with that super comfortable on the lips, um, almost a little bit hydrating. Even after this wears off, you don't feel dry on your lips, which is pretty impressive. Favorite neutral lipstick, no question. It's Sonia Kashuk's Shine Luxe Sheer in Sheer Pink Lust. Um, this this whole type of lipstick was actually a real front runner for favorite drugstore lipstick, but they didn't have quite the shade selection that Milani does or like variety in finishes. But as a whole, I do really really, really love this kind of lip product. These are like a hybrid lipstick lip gloss. When you put these on, you're going to be fascinated by the amount of shine they have. And this nude is perfect. They almost remind me and finish of the Too Faced La Creme lipsticks, which I really, really like, but maybe even more shine than those. And then my favorite neutral lip gloss is from Rimmel. It's the Stay Glossy Lip Gloss, which is a fantastic formula, really comfortable on the lips, and this shade is Endless Summer. I think this is a great every woman lip color. You know, it's light, it's a little bit peachy. If you look really close, it's got a little bit of a goldeny shimmer, but it could really be nice for just everyday wear it again is very comfortable. You're gonna see this color on your lips. It's not sheer. It kind of brightens up the face without being a bold color if that's not what you want. Thank you so much for watching my Emily Awards for Lips. Definitely one of my most beloved categories. I enjoy doing these videos so much for you and thank you so much for taking time to watch. So there's a lip gloss that's named Stay Glossy? Thanks for stealing my thunder, Rimmel. We'll see you soon with a special Emily Awards finale. Until then, I'm Tyler Spongetip, and you stay glossy, beauty broadcasters.